107.5 WBLS, your number one source for R&B. 107.5 WBLS. Well, she has arrived. She has <laughs> arrived. This lady has more money in her pocket than I could possibly have in one year. <laughs> uh, you, of course, are enjoying her on Let's Stay Together. And I got Crystal. Yeah, she's here. Kyla Pratt. How you feel, baby? Hey, I'm doing good. Thanks for How coming by doing? tonight. Thank you for having me. Last time you came by, you came by with the entire Yes, so it was all of us. All of us. <laughs> and, and, and they were dancing up a storm in the studio without anything to drink, except <laughs> water, except water. Yeah, we have fun. We have yeah. fun together. All the so. time. All the time. That's Got good. to. That chemistry is so important when you actually work, isn't it? Yeah, it's good to work with people that you actually get along with and you respect as actors, and you get to enjoy yourself and have fun at work when you get no rest, so... It's good to laugh with good people. And it's good to do what you love doing. Yes. You fell in love with this game at a very, very young age, and that's why you got so much damn money now. But, but, <laughs> um, but that's a good thing, right? Yeah, that's a good thing. I, I'm, I started when I was about seven, eight years old, and my mother was an actress. My mother did a lot of theater when I was younger. Right. And it made me want to be like mommy when the opportunity came up. And I started doing it, and at first it was a hobby, and then it turned into a career. And uh, I can't imagine myself doing anything else. I know that's right. <laughs> and you shouldn't because you're very gifted, very, very talented. Thank I fell in you. love with your work early on. Not as early on as Bonnie days. But, right. <laughs> uh, early on, you know, going when you started doing the film. Well, thank but you. But isn't this something? You know, you look as young as like 15 years old. Right. And, and you're a mommy. Yes. That's amazing. Are your kids, uh, do, you fi- do you see the spark in their eye possibly? I do see it. It's funny because people ask me all the time, would I ever let my kids be in the business? And um, I would hope that they wouldn't want to be, just because I want them to be like, I'm like doctors and lawyers and, you know, go to school, do all that But do you think your mama wanted stuff. the same thing for you? Um, No, I don't think so. I think uh, me being in this business, I've seen a lot of the crazy things that happen in this business. Yeah. A lot of people don't really end up sane being in this business. So you just have to have a good, strong family, a good, strong background. And, um, of course, if this is something that they want to do, I'm going to support them and be there all the way. You yeah. know, what better than somebody who's gone through it to help you through it? Um, but my daughter's personalities are just ridiculous. So it's kind of like hard to be like, no, you can't. The they apple? Just bubbly and goofy and just just everything. The apple in the tree, baby. Every, right. <laughs> Don't fall far from it, right? Right. <laughs> of course, the, the season has already jump-started yeah. on BET, Let's Stay Together, and I like the way your character is uh, kind of developing even more. You came into uh, Let's Stay Together in season two. If I'm yes. Not mistaken, right? Yes. And ha- have you liked your evolution? Um, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. I feel like she started off just as this college student who was trying to find somewhere to wash her clothes and being goofy and crazy. And now you actually see a little bit of depth in my character because now she's caring about her friends and caring about them, their feelings and doing something crazy to help them out and you know, not really thinking about herself. So right. I'm glad that she's doing something like that now instead of just being the same old Crystal. With a piece of wildness to her. There's still a oh, piece of, of wildness to Oh, Crystal. yeah. Crystal is not conservative at all. No, Crystal is, at all. is hanging out. Yeah. She's chilling. She really she is. She is partying, college student, having fun. And for those of you watching tonight, <laughs> you're kind of collegiate tonight. I told you, you're looking collegiate. Yeah. Very oh. collegiate <laughs> Except with the boots, though. Except with the boots. The boots aren't really... But it's cold. <laughs> it's cold outside. No, it's cold. It's, it's hot it, at it home. Crazy. I know that's Come right. Come to this weather. You're I'm a like, California wait, what's, lady. I'm <laughs> born and raised. Look, the earth is just <laughs> not steady over there. Though. I don't understand. Yeah, we have earthquakes and stuff, but you guys get hit with like random weather, I, like that's well, just ridiculous. Yeah, like no. we, it might yeah. rain for like two days, and then for like three and weeks. And then you have the brush sunny, fires out and there. And we going to the beach in February. Yeah, I, 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 I know. I get it. I get it. I get it. I, I, I really want to know. There's a lot of brothers that's hitting us up on uh, Facebook tonight. Why do you think so many men are obsessed of Kyler Pratt? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> don't be modest. Don't be modest. I know you, you're very humble. Um, yeah, I don't know, but I, I'm very humble. But I do. I, I love me, and um, I don't know. I feel. I don't know. I'm I'm chilling. I'm not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm chilling. I'm cool. I'm just. I'm I'm gonna be myself whenever I'm not working. So. Well, that's what men love. Yeah. Men love women who are definitely natural, not yeah. plastic. We you know we see that all day, <laughs> all day, every day. All day. So we, every we don't day. like. We love personalities. If a woman is beautiful, as beautiful as you, and your personality is even more radiant, mm-hmm. you know how great you look. You look phenomenal. Thank you. So maybe that's why you're tripping brothers up. 
Well, I, I I agree because I feel like I'll see a woman somewhere and she can be beautiful and then her personality is just Whack. like horrible. Like she, Terrible. And then it's just like, oh, you not as cute as I thought you were. Because, you know, women, we can compliment each other. We have no problem with saying, oh, my God, you're gorgeous or you're beautiful. And so it's good to run into other women who, like, react the same. Like, yeah. they chilling. They cool. We just enjoying ourselves. Well, like, you're, you're a confident woman. And I think confident people don't mind giving you know, compliments and mm-hmm. res- respect anybody else who looks very, very well. Right. But not everybody's made up the same fabric. Yeah, not everybody is. I mean, everybody's human. We have our days of yes, insecurities. We do. But I don't believe that we should take those out on other people. You I know? agree. I think you need to work with them. And I have my days, but I gotta, I get over it real quick. And then maybe a couple days later, I'll have another day. But no one else did anything to me, so I'm not going to put somebody else down and make myself feel better. Are you moody sometimes? Oh, I'm very, very moody. Yeah, yeah, I go through those moments. Too. Yeah, I, I'm very moody. Me thing, I'm but. very, I'm, I'm moody, babe. Why see? <laughs> why look over? <laughs> well, she's not moody tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> you know, I think I, I, I enjoy you in so many flicks that I've seen of yours, but uh, one, of the, the main one that stands out for me is Love and Basketball. Oh yeah. And I know you know you were only you're playing a, a, the younger version. Yeah. But uh, that was a special moment. That was one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, going to the premiere, I was younger, so I didn't really, you know, read the whole script. Like I knew what was going on, but going to the premiere, I got like so into the film that I forgot I was in the beginning. Really? Yeah, and it's still one of my favorite movies. Yeah, so cause you can go back and look at your work and appreciate it, or do you? I'm one of those people. I'm okay with watching my work because that's how you learn. Like mm. I can watch something and be like, okay, you know, I should have focused more on this, or I should have focused more on that, or okay, that moment was cool, or. You know, you you have to always be able to give yourself constructive criticism. I don't want to ever not watch my work and then, you know, it's there's something going on that I could have learned that I can do better in the next project. Yeah. And you always have to look at situations as I'm okay with learning. I don't know everything. I'm okay with improving myself every day and with every project. So you I feel like preach. that's a good way to do it. You better preach tonight. <laughs> preach tonight. What What's new and exciting for you for the rest of the year? Um, new and exciting for me. Um, I had another daughter. I know. I have two I know. baby girls. <laughs> I, I cannot believe this woman is a mommy to the second power. <laughs> yes, I have two baby girls and um just enjoying being a mommy and of course promoting Let's Stay Together and hoping as many people can watch it and check us out and you know Oh, we're locked in. Let's looking into more work. <laughs> no, we're, we're locked into the series. Lock in Tuesday night. Yes, and it's it's <laughs> unbelievable and it's phenomenal. And please give my regards to, to the rest of the cast. But let's go back to your mommy moment. For a moment. <laughs> um, you kept it secret. Yes. Well, it, I kept it private. I like that. Is that because there's certain things in life you really want to maintain? I mean, it's very hard being in your shoes and maintain privacy. Um, yes, it is very difficult. Before I had my first daughter, I um, had a bunch of friends who in the industry who were pregnant, and they got a lot of backlash. And so when I found that I was pregnant, I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to announce it. If somebody finds out, they find out. But this is a, a great moment that is for me, um, my, my daughter's father, my family, for us to enjoy. And I didn't really want to include strangers in that process. When you're pregnant, you're hormonal and you're going through all these different emotions. And with social social media nowadays, people can say whatever they want to say without any yeah. consequences. So true. And for me, being hormonal, I was afraid of someone saying something to me and it really affecting me when it didn't really matter what they said. Well, it doesn't really matter. I hear you. No, it's <laughs> and your so, life. Um, and then when I announced that I had a daughter, she was one, and I got the backlash that I expected would wow. happen. Wow. And but it really it didn't matter. Right, like I had my baby, so exactly. it's like, and I wouldn't do it any way different. Like I did it the second time, the same way. Yeah. And I had the best pregnancies, and I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. I understand you enjoy pregnancy. Oh and, yeah, and you enjoy labor. Yeah, well, <laughs> is that, that true? Yeah, I enjoyed my labor because to me it was just a beautiful experience. You don't really focus <sighs> on the pain; you focus on the afterwards and holding your baby, and wow. I can't believe I just did this. And I just, like, you know, took, I, I had a part in a miracle. And um, to me, it's beautiful. Not saying that all of 
my pregnancies or if I have more kids, it would be the same. Right, right. I guess you. <laughs> but, um, you know, those were special for me. Well, look, you're looking, you wear it well. Thank you. You look like you're 15, 15 <laughs> years old. Kyla yes. Pratt, I tell you. Parted it. everywhere I go. I know that's but right. But it's fine. My mama look good. I know so that's I'm right. Carry that on. That's right. Again, <laughs> the apple on the tree. Look, all the best. Continue success. Thank, Thank you for you. coming by and stopping by to see me again. I appreciate it. And we wish you and see you soon. Thank you so much. Kyla Pratt, Inside the Quiet Storm.